I originally created a two-part series creating your first responsive web page and this was the page if you I have the it's two videos two parts uh, and this is what we had at that time make it responsive but you'll notice this top navigation link I really didn't do anything with it I didn't get into it in those videos so this is actually gonna be a third third installment for that series what we're gonna do is we're gonna change out that navigation to this navigation here it's gonna be a drop down it's gonna be it's going at a certain break point it's going to do that right there and still drop down you'll notice it goes off uh, to the left there so you can scroll over and I do that because when you're at the cell phone size you know people using their fingers it can be a little clumsy so I, I put this off to the side to keep keep there for me in a problem of covering the main links up and to show you I, I come across this needing this on this website here uh, this actually has two responsive menus I did the top one in with a jQuery and JavaScript this bottom one strictly pure CSS and uh, you'll notice I how I did theirs so that's what we're gonna do so let me go ahead and close out of this close out of these we're going to create a responsive menu I'm going to do a lot of copy and paste I'm not going to type it out so you can just pause the videos at the time that you need it I will leave a link in the bottom in the uh, information section of this video down below where you can actually get the source files for this video the complete source files so if you have any problem you can kinda of look and see what went wrong and let me go ahead and close out of this I went ahead and duplicated the original there and I'm just gonna call this responsive menu additions HTML and then we have a responsive menu edition CSS we're gonna take this a step at a time this is the original CSS for the original site and of course the original source code for the original site and here's the navigation area that we're going to mess with right here what we're going to do is we're going to replace that so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm going to go to my menu here and I'm going to grab this and we're going to go over this in just a minute it's your basic it's your basic unordered list URL we have a input checkbox here and I'm going to show you what it's doing here is that right there uh, we have that for a reason it, we're going to hide that in in a little while but there's a little bit of code gotten off jfiddle which I have commented in the CSS section if you can go look at it if you want if you download the source files about it it's what's actually going to allow us to display show menu while this is being high it's going to CSS it's going to have it automatically checked at a certain break point it will display the show menu uh, that we had seen originally so this is what we're looking at right now unstyled we're putting the menu here you got your sub items so we're completely unstyled let me go ahead and save this and let's go to the CSS here and let's start with some basic styling of the CSS Go ahead and close this one. I don't need this one. All right. The original code for this was from Media Loot. I've give them credit here. I have tweaked it quite a bit to uh, make it the way I wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start. We're going to add this and get our navigation set up. And I'm just going to stick it at the bottom under here so we can have a separate section to know what we're working on here and that's what we have now when we do that and we're going to do a little bit of styling here we're going to get the navs uls and li's and the sub sub li's nav ul we'll just do the, the, the first here and the hover hover ula okay so we're not going to get into the children yet children part of this we'll go ahead and put this on here and we see it's starting to style out a little bit more we basically your standard float left on your LIs 
and to display the anchor anchors as blocks give them width and height and some padding font whatnot and a hover color for the background and if we look at it right now this is what we got there's the hover color for the background we got a little bit of styling that's we haven't even triggered that yet so with CSS and we're going to start working with the drop downs and children let me see we're going to start right here for drop down links and we're going to hide them as you can see right here we're going to hide them until they're needed and we're going to make make the drop down vertical as you noticed just a minute ago when we looked at that it was horizontal and we're going to prevent some text from wrapping and we're going to display the hover on drop down and I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to show you something here in a minute. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And let's refresh this page. All right, you notice we have it going across here. We have it lined up horizontally. We had the drop downs working. But look what happens. See how it pushes my page down? Well, we're going to get this menu in absolute position. So, so instead of it pushing the page down, the drop down will just come over the page. So let me show you that real quick. Let me see. Grab this. That right here. This one right here will do that. Now we're only targeting the drop down. We're not targeting the whole menu. I have when I. When I did it on the other site, originally I was targeting the whole menu with this and it created problems. So I just went with the drop down part, making it absolute position. Let's refresh, take a look at that. Now you see it comes over the page nicely now. But we still don't have it responding yet. So that's what we're going to work on here in a minute. Let's see what we got left here that we need to do. All right, this is where we're going to put the show menu, and we're going to hide the checkbox. So let's do that. Let's refresh, see where we're at. Okay, it's going to say show menu at a media query, but we hit the checkbox, and in a minute. When we put the media query in, you're going to see the show menu show up. Now this right here, if you have problems, this is going to be in the CSS. We're not going to use it here. But if you have a problem when you shrink the page width to, to trigger the media query, on that particular side I was working on because of some other conflicts, when I expanded it back out, it wouldn't collapse back into the regular menu. It was still showing open display or whatever. Uh, I had to use this here to fix that problem. So if, if your site that you want to insert this menu on has a similar problem, you can uncomment this and try that and see if that will work. I'll leave it in the code. But we don't need it for this particular exam example now let's put the media queries in this is where we're going to trigger some things when it's responding again there's where we get the checkbox code from jfiddle and we'll have the checkbox checked automatically and you know remember earlier we have it automatically hidden as well we're going to make the drop down links appear in line we're going to give them some vertical spacing and some width and text align center and we're going to get show menus going to show up. We'll have it display block. And we got a headline in there. And I don't remember what the headline's for. So you're just going to have to forgive me on that. So this is the last part of the code. It's the media query. We need to put that in there. Now remember, this is all triggered just strictly CSS. No jQuery, no JavaScript required for this. So let's save that. And refresh. And there's our show menu. And you 
you'll see it triggers. I have it triggering. You can you can set the triggers at whatever size you want in the CSS. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to show you. If you open it up in Show Menu, like that, and you go stretch it back out like this, and then you go close it back up, you'll notice it's still open. It's going to remember whatever state it was in originally. So we, if we close it, go back like this, come back in, it's going to remain closed. Again, if we open it, we come back out. We come back in. It's going to remain open. Just to let you know that. And really, that's all there is to it. And it's a very simple, easy method. to. And I went ahead and did this as a practical example of inserting that navigation into an already built website. Uh, that's why I went, wanted to go ahead and use the website as the example. And uh, if you like this video if it helped you get your responsive menu uh, how about give me a like or a share the video or leave a comment or all three uh, go to www.skeeterz71.com for a whole lot more how-to videos on graphic design web design than what's actually here in my youtube channel and they're all free and you have a good day